Hi, I'm Sherry Vasquez reporting from the National Council of La Raza Conference in Chicago. And with us, we have U.S. Representative Nidia Velasquez. And you're the chair of the Small Business um, Committee for the House of Representatives. What are some of the most pressing issues in the Hispanic business community today? It's the economy. It's the crisis that we are facing. It's impacting um, the Hispanic uh, community more than any other group in the sense that we have a higher unemployment rate. And uh, one of the issues important for Hispanic businesses is access to credit. And the, the issue and the problem that they're facing today is that credit is drying up. So. And what are some of the initiatives coming out of Congress that could help Hispanic business owners? Well, I worked with President Barack Obama and I included important provisions in the stimulus in the Economic Recovery Act um, where we are investing $21 billion in new investment and lending opportunities. And today, any small business, any Hispanic business who is having trouble paying existing debt, they could apply for the loan to SBA, the Small Business Administration, a $35,000 loan, free interest, and it, they will have up to one year to start paying that loan. And what brings you to the National Council of La Raza Conference in Chicago? Well, this is one of the greatest uh, institutions that we have in the Hispanic community, and this is a very important moment for the Hispanic community. So it is important that we're here to discuss some of the pressing issue that the Latino community is facing, as well as those legislative initiatives that right now we're dealing with in Congress from healthcare to immigration. And can you give us an idea of the size and scope of the Latino business community? Well, it's huge, uh, not only uh, for example, the, the fastest growing sector in terms of business in our economy is Latina businesses and then Hispanic businesses in general. When you compare certain states, they are the, the rate of new startups is, is it, it could double or triple that of the average of our nation. So it, it, it's an important, it's an important uh, contribution that the Hispanic businesses are making to our economy. And why are we seeing such a, a growth in um, especially Latina businesses? Well, they go from uh, you know beauty salons, uh, and nail salons, spas, to um, uh, clothing, um, so manufacturing, high tech, IT, uh, construction. So it's very diversified, and uh, it, it is important that, it, uh, that they can have the tools that will enable them to continue to do what they do best, and that is creating jobs at a time where every economist in our nation is saying the only way that we can get this economy growing again is by creating between 150,000 to 200,000 jobs a month. And when it comes to small businesses, they create between 70 to 80 percent of all new jobs. So that's the answer to our economic challenges. And what about uh, technology use? Are Latinos using technology enough to advance their businesses? Uh, not really. That's an important challenge because uh, we want to be able for, uh, to enable Latino businesses uh, to do e-commerce to have the, the technology that will, the new technologies that will bring down electricity consumption in, in their businesses. So the, the, we still have a long way to go in educating and also in providing um, uh, the financing that will enable them to purchase the new technology and to have the IT uh, that is important to grow their businesses. And what happens if the Latino community becomes more connected, more plugged in, how will their businesses grow? The possibilities are incredible and the opportunities will be incredible, not only for the Latino community, but for our economy. The face of America is changing. The face of our economy is changing. So by providing the resources, by providing the technical assistance, the tools that they need, the economy in general will, will benefit 
from the success of uh, businesses in our Latino community. And any final words that you'd like to say to inspire a Hispanic business um, to grow and expand? Despite the challenges that we are facing where we have uh, high unemployment among Latinos, and especially in the financial institutions. Uh, so these are like middle uh, uh, level managers that all of a the sudden they lost their jobs, but these are well-educated people. This is the time for them to think of a great idea that they have and, and trying to start up a, a, a business. Uh, small businesses in the past traditionally has been the one that have lead us out of recessions and they will do it again if we help them with the tools that they need. Well, thank you very much. This is Sherry Vasquez reporting for Latin View and Big Television. Um, we've been talking with Nidia Velasquez. Thank you very much for thank your time. You. Thank you for having me.